Hey guys, this is Christine, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing how I studied for general chemistry uh, at my university. So I am going to be senior in August. This means I took this course three years ago when I was a freshman. I did take AP Chemistry in high school, and I could have claimed credit for it, but I decided not to because my advisor, my pre-health advisor, told me that medical schools actually prefer you take prerequisite courses at your university. So I did that, and I'm really glad I made that decision because this was the year that I really was able to get down my own studying strategies um, and really implement that in my coming years and succeed in my courses. So I did receive an A uh, in this course, uh, both in general chemistry one and two. And I'm just gonna be sharing what I did, okay? So I am going to be talking about this in terms of chemistry two, but I studied exactly the same way for chemistry one as well. So I have these beautiful, okay, not really beautiful, <laughs> but um, colored, folders and as you can see I got this from Target shout out to up and up <laughs> uh, nothing fancy there are like probably 20 40 75 cents um, and I like to have these because I don't like carrying around big binders anything heavy because I have a really messed up back <laughs> but yeah so I'm going to be talking about um, how I managed to get an A in this course. So I usually write down big, like that was Chem 302, Unit 1, and Physical Equilibria. And I usually write down the relevant topics that this unit consisted of. So apparently this was about phase equilibria, delta G in phase transitions, Solution properties like colligative properties, solubility equilibria, KSPs. Does that sound familiar? <laughs> but yeah, so I have this one right here. It says it was about nuclear chemistry and chemical kinetics. And it looks like this. I have a three-hole three hole holder as well as pockets. And in there, I have a notebook. So <laughs> I color code them blue, blue. Um, and this is uh, my lecture notebook as well as my homework and learning module notebook. So during the lecture, I take notes in here. And if you saw my how I study video, which really is more generalized um, for all subjects, but I use a color coding system when I take notes. I use blue for headers and then black for just information and red for important notices. And then I use purple for my questions. So when I'm taking notes and I have a question, I will write it on the side. And then after the lecture, I just go through my notes quickly, spot the purple spots, and then I go up to my professor and ask those questions. And then I have green for their responses. So anything that the professor said, um, like regarding my questions, I put it in green. Just so that like I could distinguish, oh yeah, that was li literally exactly what she said. And then um, black or pencil that I used was like my commentary on it or something, you know. So here's an example, I just title it as like the day, so like day three, and then I take my notes. I could do more of an in-depth video on how I take notes, but um, this is like my homework. So what learning modules were for us was like a really broad um, and quick way to prime our brain before going into the lecture the next day. So if we were learning about colligative properties, we would have modules, kind of like a PowerPoint presentation with a couple of slides um, regarding that information so that we're not totally like shocked of information. So that helped a lot. Um, and I usually take notes kind of like maybe five points. Um, sometimes I won't even do that. But yeah, I take notes and then I take notes in lecture and then I try to do the homework within 12 to 24 hours so that my brain is more fresh um, after absorbing all the new information. 
So yeah, so this is my lecture and homework notebook, okay? And then for this course, we actually had online book, um, which was really nice. We didn't have to purchase a book as incoming freshmen for chemistry. But after that, you know, believe me, I spent a good amount of money on books. But yeah, um, so basically, I guess within this unit, we had nuclear chemistry. And so I printed it out. And the reason I print out my online materials is personally for me, I do not like having technology with me when I'm studying unless it's like absolutely necessary and some classes are for PowerPoints. But yeah, I, I'm just, I just prefer, you know, touching the book, touching the paper, writing on the paper, highlighting the paper, um, just doing the old school way. I think for me, that's what really helps me understand the material better and um, stick stick those in my brain better. So um, so right after my lecture, uh, like a couple of hours later, I will read the relevant pages. So if the lecture was about nuclear change, I will read about nuclear change. And then first round, I just read it, right? And then second round, I take notes. So as you can see, I took notes when I, ooh, when I was reading this book. Now, I do that throughout the week. So I had chemistry three times a week for an hour. So I would do that three times a week. And then on the weekend, I gather all my notes. So I gather my lecture notebook as well as my book notes, right? And I think you'll remember if you watched my how to study video what I'm gonna what I'm about to do. So I make my good copy golden holy grail notes. Basically, it's like my own version of the book, and this is the only thing I will ever look at um, approaching the test date. So I spend quite a bit of time on this um, because honestly, for me, it's really fun to create these notes. Um, I know it's kind of weird, but um, yeah, I just like, you know, drawing pictures in there, and I'm a very artsy, visual person, so um, this is an example. I try to make it very concise and easy to understand. It has all of the information in there, especially my purple questions. And yeah, I just combine my book notes with my um, lecture notes, making sure that I only put down um, concise information in there and then I also so in this in this folder I also have this thing called equation sheets I just dump all of the equations that I've ever used in the homework and I um, study this like right before the test and usually I would like if I if there are too many equations then what I do is I me memorize them and then brain dump right before the test so that means you just write out all of the things you memorized um, in front of your in front of your exam but usually I'm able to kind of uh, recall um, recall the correct equation when I'm doing homework uh, when I'm answering the questions because they remind me of some kind of homework question you know or like a relevant concept and then I also have this thing called question sheets. And this is a really like messy paper sheet um, thing. <laughs> um, not pretty at all, but as you can see, like if I have questions just popping up um, and I have nowhere to write it because let's say like I'm writing my good copy notes, I'm not gonna write questions on there, okay? Cause I want it to be perfect looking. <laughs> so I'll like take a sticky note, write all my questions there, or just take the paper like this and write my questions. I take this to office hours or, you know, I go up to the professor after lectures and I just ask him or her about, you know, all of my inquiries. And um, as soon as those are answered, I cross them out. And there's really not much color coding system. Actually, you can kind of see like the green, like the green right here and then just yeah, highlighter and yeah. Um, so right before the test or not right before, sorry, my back is hurting. So a couple of days before the test, usually like the weekend before, I would take my good copy notes, write these on the board. And this is how 
all of the information in here sticks into my brain and I'm able to step back, look at the big picture, and um, it's, it's called active learning. And that's how I prefer to actively learn. So I, um, I would write about a topic, right? I would write all of my notes about a certain topic and then as soon as I'm done, I get down, I step back, I solve all of the relevant questions that I did in the homework, and then um, I step back up to the whiteboard, and then I write about other topics, so like another good copy note uh, within the unit, and then I do the same thing. I step back, make sure I understand everything, try the homework, questions, and um, so like a couple of days before the test, I will make sure that I can understand not understand I can answer all of the questions on my question sheet on my own and if I can't I will circle it right and then just really focus on those questions and then I make sure that I can um, you know recall all of the equations basically and I take the test and so I do this for every single unit and um, I have those good copy notes as you can see so I have one here from aqueous equilibria and then I also have one for physical equilibria and so right before the final all I do is literally just take those good copy notes and study those instead of having to dig the book again or like my notebook again um, it's very organized and I love that so that's how I studied for general chemistry um, and next video I really want to talk about how I studied for OCHEM but um, all of my material is back in my apartment which is not uh, not in the same city as where my parents home is so that's gonna I'm gonna work on bringing that back it's a couple of hours drive but yeah I hope this helped. Um, let me know if you have any other questions, and I guess I will talk to you guys later. Bye!